Hey everyone, it's Ryan it you here with another Minecraft tutorial where today I am going to give you some ideas to put in your Minecraft kitchen. But before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe like button to start this video. Okay, so now let's get started. So, I just have some quartz bricks for my walls and then birch planks for the floor and so right now i want to have a tasty burger so i'm going to get an armor stand and i'm going to get some snow and piston redstone and then last but not least some glass so I'm just going to make like a little toaster. Um, there's going to be a second part of the toaster. Um, but this is the part that I'm showing you right now. So, you're going to need some space because we're also going to have a, um, a countertop here. And a floor. So, we're just going to see how many snow layers it needs. So we had just barely pokes above it. So I think we can go just a couple more up. Okay. Uh, one less than that. I think that'll be good. And then what countertop should I use? I think I'll just go with some, where is it? Block of quartz. Um, let's just put it on the snow. So I'm going to have this and that. And then put that facing downward. <gasps> Look at it. I'm cooking a burger. But now... Since, you know, this would be my, my big old countertop. Um, I need, you know, the, the little extra part of it. So, for that little part. I'm just going to use chiseled quartz. Because it's like very modern. Just like this. And then, we're going to need to get a banner out for this one. So, let's see. Hold on. I think of what I need to do for this. I have forgotten how to build it. So, oh yeah. We just need one more block out for this. And then we have it right there. And then we get, you know, like a light gray banner. Um, and we get... A handful of gray dye and a handful of like let's just say white dye and then I guess I need a ban a, a, a loom glad I don't forget the name like few we're just gonna place this here and then we're gonna want to get this part and then a white border I mean a gray border um, and then do one straight through the middle, and there we go, because those are, like, kind of the, the buttons. I don't know if I put it on the right side. It's been a while since I've used a toaster before. Um, but that is a little toaster, you know, you can click the buttons, you can go, and then the little burger is just for decoration. And I'm just going to get an iron trap door. And lever, lever, whatever you would call it. And then just have it over the top. Redstone torch. There we go, just like that. Just like that. And then I just have my little, 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 little burger in there. And then for the next one, we are just going to have a little space just like this. 
Let's get some andesite walls. Uh, let's see. I, I need some more uh, trapdoors. Because that'll be, you know, the little smoke thing up here. Let's see, let's just build that up more. And this little smoke thing. And then we're gonna use campfire. And then some trap doors. And last but not least, some hopper minecarts. Well, I need some rails to put them on. Boogie. So campfires are gonna go right here. And then this just goes right here. And as you can see, it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm also gonna need some iron trapdoors there later. Um, but right now, we just need this. You can do that right now. And this one goes down. And so does the other one. And let's put that right there again. And last, we just need to push some, uh, we just need to push the iron trapdoors into it. That is all we need to do. All we need to do. Okay, so let's have that there. We don't need this. We do not need that. We do not need that. We don't need the dies. Uh, I will need this. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. And then we're just going to place those there again. And does that look pretty good? And you can also use it functionally. And you just need to click on the minecart with the hopper. One, to get your rails back. Um, and two, to collect your food. So I think that that is pretty, 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 pretty cool. And then next, we're just going to add some, you know, little cabinet drawers. And we're just going to get some white banners. And then iron trap doors. And we're just gonna get a little pattern like this going. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So we need to get this. And you know that does work. But, you know, the banner covers it, and it doesn't look as good. So, you know, we still can add them. And it does look pretty good. Um, but there's no, like, you know, smaller... There's no smaller thing that we can add to it. And we'll just add those around. And then, you know, you could go weird and go like, well, let's just try painting. Well, you can't place it. Like, that's the thing. You used to just be able to place this. And then it'll show, it'll show right through. But, you know, this is a pretty cool touch. And then you could use invisible item frame or... Yeah, what, what the... <laughs> what the? Something else broke. Um, you could just use regular item frames. Just a regular item frame. And that could look like it, it already opens. Which I think that is pretty cool. As you can see, they still do poke out. And you can pretend like you can open them. 
And you know, that's pretty cool. We also do want to add some shelves on top. So up here, we'll just add yeah, some more item frames. Oh, that's cool. So like if you accidentally delete it, it'll just go to the same spot. That's cool. I did, I did not realize that. And like, you know, you could add some to the corner, um, but I don't really want to. But you know, up here, you could add some, you know, like food. Let's go to foodstuffs. We'd add some carrots, taters, a uh, cooked rabbit. You know, I should get a baked tater. And, you know, we could get all this different stuff. We get some soup. That looks like blood. Never mind. Uh, like rabbit stew. We get some, some cooked stuff. But in some cases, you may just want... You may just want the invisible item frame as if you're trying to, like, you know, show it off. So, you know, that's when the invisible item frame would come in handy. And you can get rid of all this, and then I should get one more. I should get some glow berries. And I think this kitchen looks pretty, 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 pretty good. So, one last thing you may consider adding is, like, um, a little cabinet area. So, you would get campfire, a shovel, and, you know, some more, like, food. And see this go that 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 let's just go another potato and here i'll just do another pork chop but you can create shelves using just this little trick and then i would just get like um trap doors to put around the sides you could, you could use iron you could just use per, per perch um i'll just go with some birch for now and then you can just get birch door and place it right there and then there's a little cabinet with some shelves and i think this is a pretty good kitchen with food hanging from the ceiling <laughs> um let me know what your favorite part about this kitchen is and then you could also add like a table here um but yeah make sure to do smash the subscribe buttons and share this video that's you and the next one, goodbye.